Hello, my name's Dawn Colley and I work for the Manx Wildlife Trust. And this little educational video um, is a bit different from the others. We're going to do, because it's coming up to Easter, some natural dyeing of eggs ready for our Easter celebrations. So I'm just going to show you um, what we have ready and then talk you through how to um, dye eggs naturally. So we have a pan of water um, ready. We have some eggs ready to dye. Now I've got some white eggs here. You can do it with brown eggs, but the colours don't tend to come out as well. I've got some blueberries. I've also got some beetroot here and some turmeric, which is a spice. You see that's very yellow. That's my water ready. I've got some brown onions and I've already pulled off the outer very papery skin. Um, ready for using as a dye. I picked myself some flowers and some leaves because we're going to make little patterns as well. Um, please, please, if you're picking from your garden, be very aware this time of year that the pollinators are just coming out of hibernation and they're very, very hungry. They're looking for nectar from flowers. So please don't pick loads of them. But um, these are all flowers from a garden. Um, so I haven't picked any wildflowers at all, which is really not a good idea to do. Please leave the wildflowers for the bees. I've got some tights here. I've got a bowl ready and I've got some clear vinegar, some measuring spoons and some mugs ready to try out the different dyes because it's going to be a bit of a science experiment. And this is what's really, really lovely about this, is that you can use trial different things out and see what works, see what colour dyes. I like to try and guess what colour we're going to make. So first of all, before we actually put dyes in, I'm going to get the water ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this water um, off and add different dyes to it so um, we get different results. So first of all, into my pan, I'm going to pour one litre of water. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of our vinegar. And then I'm going to turn on the heat and I'm going to bring that up to the boil. Then what I'm going to do is take out portions of this and trial the different dyes. So now I've got that pan really, really boiling away. And what I'm actually going to do is um, I'm going to stop it. And in my mugs, just to the side here, I'm going to pour enough of this water that would cover an egg. And then what I'm going to do is re-put that water into a smaller saucepan and add my dyes to it. So I put a smaller quantity of the um, water into a smaller saucepan and brought it to the boil again. And this is what we're going to use for our first dye. This is beetroot. Um, there's about a cup worth of beetroot here. And if you look, it's just lovely. Well, you can see on the plate, can you see down here? All the lovely colour that's coming out of it and if you look at my fingers you can see where I've been handling so I wonder what colour dye is going to come out of these beetroots what we're going to do is we're going to put this is about one cup's worth of beetroots we're going to put it in the saucepan I'm going to reduce that heat down to a simmer and I'm going to let it simmer for 30 minutes so I've got the beetroot simmering away there and at the back, I put on a second pan and I'm going to put in these onion skins. So I've got brown onion skins here. What on earth are they going to colour the egg? I wonder what dye colour will come out of this. So just like with the beetroot, for this amount, um, so we had a whole litre of water, two tablespoons of the vinegar, and then we split it into four. So for that amount, which is just a quarter of a litre, I'm just going to put in the equivalent of one cup full of onion skins. So that's going to just pop into our water here, just like this. And I'm going to give it a little stir. 
and um, then just like beetroot it's going to simmer that means take the heat down a little bit for about 30 minutes so I've put on all my eggs so that I'm going to hard boil them first before I put them into the mixtures and then what will happen is they'll stay in the mix for about 30 minutes and we'll just let that dive really soak into them but I need these eggs to be fully hard boiled before I do that So now we've hard boiled the eggs and our beetroot and onion skins have had a good 30 minutes simmering away. So the next thing we're going to do is get a sieve and this is where it's going to get a bit messy. We're going to sieve so we don't have any of the bits of beetroot at all into our mug and then we'll add the egg. So there we are, that's beetroot and this is beetroot um, water that we're busy boiling away and I'm going to add my egg now. Now you might find that by the time you finish simmering that, um, there it goes, um, that your water is quite reduced. So um, if you have got any reserve um, water with vinegar that you boiled up earlier, it's always a good idea to top it back up. So that's our egg and our um, beetroot juice. And I wonder what's gonna happen there, what color that egg is gonna turn. And now we're going to use the onion skin water and do exactly the same, just strain that off and then pop the egg in. So there are onion skins that we've um, just sieved off and that is the water from the onions. And into that, I'm just gonna pop in the egg, there we go. Now that's a very, very strange colour, isn't it? It's sort of like an um, over-stewed tea. I just wonder what colour that egg is going to go. Now these eggs are going to be left in there for 30 minutes before we take them out and see what colour they turn. And in that extra time, I'm going to make up some more dyes. So I have my pan simmering away again with the water and the um, vinegar mix. I'm just going to tip in one cupful of blueberries, okay? And then bring that back up to the boil. And then the same again, I'm going to simmer that for 30 minutes and we'll see what colour the water turns with the blueberries in. So our final pan of water has now come up to heat and I'm going to use the turmeric spice. I'm going to put two teaspoons of turmeric spice in. Now, um, it does really, really stain turmeric. So it might be an idea if you're um, handling the eggs and um, you're going to put your hands anywhere near the water to maybe use some gloves, um, some nitrile gloves, just to um, so you don't become stained for life as it were. So the same again, that needs to come up to the boil and um, then we'll knock down the heat and we'll let it simmer for 30 minutes. So that's our turmeric. Okay, so this time we're going to put some decoration on our eggs and you will need some tights and you'll see that I've actually cut it down to about four, five inches in length. And if you just have a little look, all I'm going to do is take the end of the tights, tie them up tight, and then you can see that I bought in, <laughs> that was close, um, some flowers and some leaves. So what you do is you literally take your egg you might want to take some scissors and cut bits so that you can decorate your egg like a bit more. But we're just going to place these around the egg. Like this, I might use a different, this is Herb Robert, just here. And another piece just here. And another piece just here. Now it does get a bit tricky because you're trying to hold on to everything. But what you then need to do is get your types ready and just pop your egg into the tights. Now you can do a bit of adjustment afterwards with the leaves. 
okay because the tights are there they can hold those leaves tight against the egg and hopefully we'll get that pattern on our egg so i'm going to tie that up as tight as i can so it holds us really close against the egg and then when i've done that i'm going to take a bowl pop them in and then pour on some of the um, dye that we've made earlier. So with this egg, what I'm gonna do is take the flowers and I'm just going to pop them over the egg like this. And the same again, hopefully, when I tie the tights on, we'll try really hard and um, to try and get it so the things don't move around on the egg as we're actually popping it in. So sometimes it's a good idea just to try one side of the egg and then um, pop it in and then you can put the bits on the top. So I'm just going to turn the egg, the little tights, the other way. It's very, very tricky thing to do. Now we've got these round here. And we're just going to place the rest of the flowers just here and pull the tights up against the egg as I'm doing that and maybe put a, another little bit of a leaf here so I'm just going to get break off a bit of the fern there we go and same again put it there take your tight put them as tight as you can and then tie it up and we're going to pop it in the bowl and pour on our mix in a minute. We've just had the blueberries that have been simmering away for half an hour. And now I'm just going to do like I did with the others, just drain the fluid off just here. Don't think I'll be eating these blueberries somehow with all that vinegar in them. So that's as much juice as I can get out of those. And I'm just going to take my egg and pop it into the mix to soak for that half an hour. And with the turmeric, I don't need to strain this. I'm going to put this straight into the mug. Now remember what I said about this, if you don't want this to stay in your hands for the next couple of days, then it's probably better if you wore um, some gloves to do it. But I'm just going to pop that in and just like the others I'm going to leave that for half an hour but what we have done is the ones we did a bit earlier have been busy um, straining away for uh, soaking away for half an hour so this is the one that we had with the beetroot and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour that I want to put that on my um, eggs my patterned eggs so I want to use that colouring there and this is my beetroot egg. And I don't know if you can see, but it's gone a pinky colour. Very, very light pink, but it's still gone a pinky colour. So that's my first eyed egg. And can you remember we did in what we said looked very, very like very well screwed too? We had the um, onion skin. I'm going to do the same again. I'm just going to use my sieve and just drain off that water so that I can get the egg out from it. And there we've got a very, very lovely light orange coloured egg. And that was from the onion skin. So now we've had 30 minutes with the turmeric and with the blueberries. So I'm going to take the turmeric first and because this really does stain quite badly, I'm going to tip the turmeric down the sink straight away and give my egg a bit of a wash here, lovely. And you can see it's turned a lovely lemony yellow colour. So I'm just going to pop that in my egg box. And this is the blueberry mix. I'm just going to top up 
the rest of my patterned eggs, so it covers them completely. And with the patterned eggs, um, that's going to go into the fridge for five hours. Now with all of these, if you want a stronger colour, just leave them to soak for longer. And it's quite a nice little science experiment to take them out every half an hour and get the different grades on it. So I'm just going to tip this out here. And this is our blueberry egg, which is a lovely sort of very um, pale purple colour. So if I just put them on this board here, you'll be able to see all the different colours that we've dyed the eggs. So if you remember this one here, this one was the beetroot and it's got this lovely speckledy look to it as well. This colour here is the blueberries, okay, and it's a darker colour than the beetroot. The beetroot is more pinkier. The lovely, very, very bright yellow is a turmeric. And the orangey coloured egg was the onion skin. Now, the lovely thing about doing this, and the reason that I'm talking about eggs and doing this little experiment, is out in the wild, now it's springtime, the birds are getting all excited, the plumage, that's all the fair vessel colours on them are really, really bright because um, they're matching up into pairs and they'll be laying their eggs. The interesting thing about egg colours is those birds that lay their eggs in dark places, um, like the blue tits who lay their eggs in um, like holes in trees, their eggs tend to be a very light colour. They're either white or they're bluey coloured. If you're a bird that um, lays its egg on the ground, then what happens is you need to camouflage that egg. You don't want anything to find it. So they tend to be speckled coloured. They tend to be greens and browns. So things like the curlew eggs. And a lot of our um, ground nesting birds up at the airs um, on the beach have really highly camouflaged eggs. The other thing about eggs, we always think of an egg, we always think about a chicken's egg with this point on it. But if you're an owl's egg, it's very, very round. So the egg shapes differ. It used to be thought that the birds that nested on the cliffs, they have very pointed eggs because they would roll around in a circle. But actually now they're coming up with the theory that if the bird um, flies for longer, like a lot of our seabirds are out, like Max Shearwater will fly for quite some time, they tend to have streamlined bodies. And because of the shape of their body, the eggs tend to be more pointed, whereas around the eggs are for birds that do just short distances. So there we are. Have a little go at um, dying your own eggs for Easter. I've taken the eggs that we had soaking for about five hours in the beetroot um, dye out and I've got the bowl now and I'm going to cut off the tights and have a look at that patterning. So I've just undone the um, tights now and I'm just pulling off the tights and um, there we go. That is our patterned egg. Can you see the lovely patterning there? And all the sort of leaves. There, that's a nice one there. Okay, and we'll have another go with the second one now and see what patterns we have here. So this is the last egg and we're just going to undo it and have a little pop and have a look at what's turned out here. There you are. You can see the lovely leaf patterns on that egg too. So there you go. That's how to make decorated Easter eggs.